no you just have to go in with these colors and you shouldn't be scared and you shouldn't be terrified but i'm terrified okay <laughs> Welcome back to my channel! <sighs> welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome. These days, I don't... I don't think about primer anymore. But I'm just gonna give my face a little bit of a spritz. I know that's not a crisis, like people are actually dying. While we're here today... While we are here today... I just want to act like there's nothing currently wrong in the world, like the world isn't changing, the apps isn't changing, like I just want to be totally absent-minded from the world because at this current moment, I don't have the finances to save the world. We're going to save our faces. Why am I already- I said spot conceal, look at me. Literally the least amount of foundation I've ever put on. And then I have that little bit of concealer as well. Foundation? Don't know her. Literally goes right in. Yeah, let me blend it in with a the sponge. It's fine. So we're going for a nice little orange vibe. Maybe I should maybe I should come and talk about relationships with you guys. But this will be like cute little story times. So that you don't fall into my footsteps. I, the first time I had a boyfriend. He was 16, going on 17. I was 12 years old. 12 years old. 11. I was 11 years old and I had a crush on this dude. It was a big crush. But his sister! <laughs> he had a sister and his sister was so violent. Back in the day, there was these chocolates. I, I don't know if they make them still, but P.S. had them. In this chocolate, there were two bars. And like the one would say yes and the other one would say no. And then someone would send it to you. And you'd have the privilege of telling them. N O or Y E S. And I broke off the no, ate it, and I sent the yes back with his friend, and his friend is married now. Oh my gosh. So the friend came with the chocolate, and then I sent the friend back, and then I walked home. While the friend had the yes, I walked home like nothing happened. Like I didn't just say yes to this guy to be his girlfriend. But the thing is, like, even after I was his girlfriend, like, he didn't make it like I was his girlfriend so I never knew if I was his girlfriend or not so I just like casually he never really like we never really talked I he was really he was always so shy he has a kid now but he was always so shy and I think we never ended the relationship we just kind of gathered that you're too shy to speak to me and I'm too young to speak to you anyway. So let's just call it, let's just call it quits. I picked up Cone as a transition color. Yeah, so that was like my cute 
my cute primary school crush. Actually, I had a primary school crush. <gasps> I had a primary school crush and my best friend in primary school broke my freaking trust. <sighs> when she went to go tell this boy that I liked him, she told everybody I had a crush and this boy found out. And this boy's cousin was already my bully, so it didn't pan out so nice for me when they found out that I actually liked their cousin. I was that young, and I was told I'll never fit into their family because I'm so poor. Yep, 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 yep. Story of my life! Oh my goodness, this orange is where it's at. But lucky for me, guys, when my friend decided that they're going to spill the tea, my secret, I already had a contingency in place for when they decide to double cross me because they've double crossed me before. And I realized at the age of nine or eight or even 10, but at that young age, I realized I have double crossing friends. So put a contingency in place just in case they tell someone else your secrets. And I told them if they ever share my secret with anyone, they owe me, I think, a hundred thousand rand. That was the deal. If you ever tell anyone, you better have a hundred thousand rand in your bank account because that's how much I want. And they had to pay me in sweet every single day probably like for a year and then someone else was like um trying to interfere trying to get them out of the deal and i was like hey mind your business mind your business shkushku that way because none of this information applies to you and they're venting is because they did something bad. Don't feel sorry for them, feel sorry for me because I was tormented. And a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand rand is not even enough. It's not even enough for the turmoil and the tension and the bad jokes and everybody looking at me funny because I have a crush on a dude that I shouldn't be having a crush on. And I'm that young. I shouldn't be having a crush, period. And you just exposed me to the whole school. No, sweetie. You deserve what you got got, okay? Oh. This thinnest little pencil brush you can find. I don't really want to put a liner on. I just want to put a lash on. But a cute lash. Do I have a cute lash? It's a good question. I'm gonna pack this dark. Almost like neon -y Green, I mean orange. Right there. Yes! Mmm, that's coming together. Boom. A sound in my heart. The beat goes on and on and on and on. Oh, I like it. I'm gonna call breakup phases a real thing. Breakups is a thing that people, you know, grow out of until you get to that point of realization where you're like, I can't be messing with people's feelings like this. Like, I either need to understand how relationships really work and come to terms with it or I shouldn't be 
dating. Or I should at least be upfront and honest about what I want from this relationship experience. Right guys? Am I the only one who feels that way? Surely I can't be the only one who feels that way. That's not true. I won't blush. But I feel like it's not gonna complement the orange very... Wow. I'm torn. You know what, let's, let's put on the other diddly daddies and then we see if, we're, if we need to add more blush. Get into those freckles, girl. Get into it, yeah. Okay, so the electricity might go off soon, so I need to hurry and finish up. Back in high school, probably in my matric year, because that's the only year I started wearing makeup. So let me say varsity. In varsity, I used to love having a chunky eyelash because a chunky eyelash was just what was the cutest at the time. Chunky eyelashes with chunky brows. Ah! Giving you the full life, the full tea, the full fantasy. Are you crazy? She's giving. a little bit just a just a little bit to go over the lash line and the falsies no your honor that is incorrect she wore falsies how on earth could she see the truth <laughs> when you're dressed up Darling, what did you do for those pearls? What? I am a good girl. The highlighter. Whoa, ma'am. Mo. But should I do it like that? 